Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, please subscribe and tap that bell for more videos. Okay, so today we're gonna to be making a photo collage vase or possibly um, you could use it as a pencil holder as well. Um, so the things you're going to need is a cleaned out old soup can with the top removed. Um, some black and white or colored um, photos. You're going to need to print them out on a sheet of photo paper. And this is um, HP um, Premium Plus photo paper that I have. Um, you're going to need some Mod Podge. You need one of these sponge brushes. Um, a hot glue gun and your glue sticks. And you're going to need some sort of twine or ribbon to wrap around the top. Um, and any other embellishments that you might want to do. Um, so the first thing is I'm gonna cut out um, my photos. I'm gonna try and do this quickly because my kids are asleep. So if I'm a little bit sloppy, that's why. I don't want them to wake up and may not be finished. As you can see, my hair is still wet, so I'm just a busy day today. Okay, so there's that. And they don't have to be perfect because you might end up overlapping them depending on how many pictures that you have and how you can kind of fit them on the soup can. You might have to overlap them a little bit. So this um, can be used as a Mother's Day gift, a Father's Day gift, um, something just for decor on your home. I think it's a really cute idea to display some of your family photos. I like that picture. All right, so I'm gonna put um, hot glue on the can for the pictures to hold them on, and then the Mod Podge will be to go over it later on. Since this is photo paper, the glue is stronger. This quick it dries. this biggest one on here first and the um at the top of the can I'm going to be wrapping my um my twine so I'm just going to scoot it down and just leave that space for the twine Be careful pressing down the glue with your fingers because it's hot, obviously. Some of my glue dried a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna to add some more on the ends.
Okay, so even after this, I just, I don't have that much space left. So I'm gonna put his picture in here and then maybe see what else I can fit in there. I know it looks a little bit messy now, but I think when you put um, the Mod Podge over top, it will blend everything in a little bit better. Okay, so he's on there. I think I want to put this one, a small one up here. <clears throat> more into this as well. I think I'm just gonna fit the three on here, plus I don't really like, like the bottom one of me. <laughs> so I'll kinda do it like that. Cause I'll be overlapping a little bit on some of the other photos, but that's okay. in that gap right there with this. Scoot it up if I can. Oh, I think it looks cute. I could put one like in between them. Let's see, so they got, or maybe like on their shirts. We can love you or I'm just gonna try and put this right here in the front of them. Hopefully it looks okay. I think this is pretty much dry now. It looks cute. <clears throat> okay, so now the next step is the Mod Podge. So I'm gonna take the Mod Podge and put some glue on. It's not on my plate over. So I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and put it on my plate over here. And I'm just gonna take it and put a thin layer over all of the pictures, just to make it kind of like stick better and cohesive, and kind of protect the pictures as well. So, so I'm gonna start doing that. Okay, so I'm just gonna start putting a layer over this. I, um, I know it looks like it's covering everything at the moment, but um, it'll dry clear. I 
Let's try to make it a thin layer so they don't really have any thick spots. If you can. So I'm going to do it all the way around. Okay, so I feel like it's pretty well coated, but it's still very wet. So I'm going to let this dry completely before the next step. Hey guys, so this is uh, mostly dry. It's actually, it's pretty dry. I think this is dry. So as you can see, the color is coming back through the photos because it is dry and it dries clear. Like I was saying, some of them um, might need to fix down just a little bit more but I think it's okay so the next step is I'm going to be gluing my twine around the top and I actually have a pre-cut piece I'm not sure if this will be long enough I think so this will probably do so um I'm gonna be using the glue gun for this so I'm just gonna put um some glue around the top and just start gluing on. I don't want to do too much at once because it does glue quick or dry quickly. Go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna snip my ends real quick too. Okay. So I'm gonna start adding this on before it cools down. So there's that. I'm just gonna keep gluing it all the way around. glue all over myself as usual okay. <clears throat> Continue one more row of it, I think. So I don't want to cover up too much of the picture, so I do have a gap on the top that I want to cover. Wrapping it into the glue, and I just burned myself. Be careful. Then I'm just going to clip off the end right here. Scissors have seen better days. I'm going to glue that end down. I think I'm actually going to add one more row. Of the rope. So I feel like three looks better than two. I'm gonna try and keep this my front, so I'm gonna kind of do the kind of gl the gluing and stuff more in the back, just to hide it better.
Okay, so there is that. Yeah, I think three rows look better. And then I'm just gonna snip it in the back. Glue my piece down right here. All right, so this is finished. So if you want to use this as like a, you know, paper holder, a pencil holder, whatever you like, or what I think I would like to do is put some flowers in it, a flower vase with it like this. These flowers are probably a little bit too high. I need to trim them. Um, So I think it's a really cute way to incorporate your family photos into home decor. So there's that, different angles. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all my links below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.